A series of alleged offenses by the Chinese Coast Guard were continuously being reported these past few months. Amidst the resupply mission of armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Coast Guard over the weekend, the Chinese made it clear how they unapologetically exerted dangerous tactics which challenged the Philippines' territorial rights over the West Philippine Sea. Patrick de Jesus has the full details. A blast of water cannon by a Chinese Coast Guard ship with bow number 5201 can be seen in this video. The incident happened last Saturday, August 5, at Ayungin or 2nd Thomas Shoal, while the chartered boats of Armed Forces of the Philippines conducted a resupply mission escorted by Philippine Coast Guard ships. Another Chinese Coast Guard vessel with bow number 5305 blocked a PCG ship. The PCG made a safe distance to avoid collision with the Chinese ship. It can also be seen how the Chinese Coast Guard and Philippine vessels are so close to each other. The incident caused delay on the delivery of food and water to soldiers stationed at the BRP Sierra Madre in Ayungin Shoal and only one supply boat was able to pass through the blockade. The government condemns the dangerous maneuvering and use of water cannons by China. The dangerous and illegal tactics employed which are evidenced by photos, videos, and other official reports are a clear and unmistakable violation of domestic laws, the Convention on the International Regulations for Prevention, Prevention, Preventing Collisions at Sea, the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea UNCLOS, and the 2016 Arbitral Award, which recognizes the Philippines' rights in the West Philippines. The world probably is expecting a better explanation from the China Coast Guard. Because right now, they cannot hide, they cannot just hide behind the, they cannot just hide their action behind the term necessary control. Because their acts contradict what they are saying. The National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea monitored six CCG vessels and two Chinese militia vessels involved in the incident. Up to three People's Liberation Army ships of China were also spotted near the area. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. said the country will continue to assert its rights in the West Philippine Sea. A note verbal was sent anew to China. We continue to, to, to assert our sovereignty. We continue to, um, to assert our territorial rights in the face of all of these challenges and uh, consistent with uh, the international law and UNCLOS especially. Uh, so that is uh, that has al always been our stand and that will. But we still have to keep uh, we still have to keep communicating with the Chinese government, with President Xi, with Beijing. We still have to keep communicating with them because we need to really come to a conclusion. The Philippine government has filed 35 diplomatic protests this year against China due to different incidents in the West Philippine Sea. It's important for us to do so. It's for, uh, important for the Philippines to continue to assert what, it is right, what is rightfully ours. To allow China to continue with its narrative will be contrary to what we are supposed to do or mandated to do. And the policy of this government is very clear. As they said, not one inch of our territory should actually be handed over to, our, to China. The Chinese Coast Guard, meanwhile, reiterates its actions are in accordance with international law as the Philippine ships allegedly entered waters adjacent to what they call Reina Reef illegally. But the government stood firm. The operation is legitimate. The country will also not stop on conducting resupply missions in accordance with the nation's territorial rights in the West Philippine Sea. There's already an immediate um, need for the, uh, for the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Coast Guard to do another resupply. But as to the specific date, um, it's um, highly confidential. The international community expressed support to the Philippines Following the incident, the United States said that any armed attack in the South China Sea may trigger the mutual defense treaty between the U.S. and the Philippines.
Australia and Canada also expressed concern on the actions of the Chinese Coast Guard. Japan then said that any harassment that may cause dangers in navigational safety is not acceptable. While the United Kingdom reiterated its commitment in promoting international law. Patrick De Asus for the Nation.